The following program contains spoilers, strong language, adult topics and ideas, which may not be suitable for children or people who are easily offended. All opinions on the show should be treated as such. Hello, everybody out there. This is Travis with the Broken Battery Podcast, along with my heterosexual life mate, the one, the only, Joseph. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Glad to be back with you. After a short hiatus where we toured the Ma- Mars, we toured the moons of Jupiter, we went all around, we checked everything out, and we just, frankly, we needed to take a quick break. Yeah, I just kind of think that we just stayed home and we sat, we were just, you know, self-isolating, you know, pandemic going on. Seeing all this pandemic going on. Didn't they just... At call it they're like yeah this isn't a pandemic no anymore. no 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 it's oh. gonna keep going oh, okay well anyway it'll we are never, it'll never stop we are so glad that we're back with you folks we are we are excited i'm excited i'm triple excited and ready triple to party excited. with you yes because we are the moose tracks of the podcasting world we are oh. the best we are the cream of the crop moose tracks moose tracks not to be confused with moose knuckle because i would never eat that but anyway what about cow tongue? Can we get some cow tongue over here? We have cow tongue. You can actually, if, <laughs> if you put your uh, name and address in the comments, we will send you out a free cow tongue. Yeah. No, we'll freeze it and we'll send it right to you. We swear to God, he's offered it to me twice this week and this I is fucking true. don't want it. No, no. no. Now, there are, we have plenty in stock and I understand they make <laughs> excellent tacos. All right. Free, ta- free <laughs> cow tongue for the first two listeners that actually want it. Yes. But, you know, while you're putting the comments in, uh, your comment in the comment section, you know, like and subscribe so you never miss yep. free, any of the content, even though we haven't been around for a few weeks. You know what? Weeks. I'm saying free shipping on it. Because if I, anybody wants this cow tongue, I'll ship it to them for free. That's fine. But you guys got to buy the cooler. That's how we get you. No, no, no. <laughs> we'll put it in the cooler and everything. We'll ship it to you. But, Joe, I am so glad we're back. It's um, going to be like Omaha Steaks. Omaha Steaks, Omaha, but way more tender. Omaha Tongue. Omaha Tongue there for you. Go. But, you know, Joe, I am very happy that we're back. Yes. And we're back. And we're back, folks. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway. Pick them uh, up. Put them down. Put them down. Put them down. And we're going to start off with our favorite segment, which all of our segments are the favorite segments, because we get to bring them to you, folks. And we're going to talk about a Spotlight on Media. Oh, right. Spotlight on Media. Okay, so this video game came out years ago. Okay. And I actually picked up a copy not too long ago because, hey, it was cheap. It was Outriders. It was for PlayStation 4. Uh, no. Yeah, I know. You're not a PlayStation guy. Not a PlayStation um, dude. I think it came out for Xbox, too. Yeah, I doubt it. But it is a very enjoyable game. It reminds me a lot of Gears of War, but you also get to use superpowers. And it has a, it has probably one of the best sci-fi storylines I've seen in a game. Mm. I mean, it's no Mass Effect. Oh. But... It was. It's damn enjoyable. So do yourself a favor. You know, it's only like I think twenty bucks. You can probably get it on any type of uh, PlayStation or maybe even Xbox's uh, online store. So, so you like it? Oh, it's enjoyable. Yeah, it's really, really good. You like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, good. <laughs> but yeah, that was a quick spotlight on media. Yeah, so that's a good video game. Check on, it out, on folks. Some media. Should it be like spotlight on media, or should it be like? Because it always seems like we're just doing spotlight. On video games that Travis likes. Oh no, you just spotlight. You know, you just you're the you're the song guy. I'm the uh, I'm the guy that like video games uh, that's coming well, out. I like video games too. I like I like I like pigs feet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just not cow tongue. Yeah. Um, but no, you know. Speaking of which, Joe, I believe it is time for your turn. It oh. is your turn. Oh, it's my turn. It is your turn. I kind of just feel like you just put me up to this because I know, you know, a lot of weird songs and uh, not really oh, weird. Yeah, yeah. Popular, I, weird, or, you know, popular, semi-popular. Am, am I that transparent? Because, I mean, I did put you up to there because you know it way more stuff than I do. All right. I like music, but I do not have your ability, yes, sir. Yes, yes. All right. So we're, we're going to go on with our, you know... Our normal thing, what we talk about all the time, which is... What you know, the hell were they saying? What, or what were they saying? What are they doing? You what know, do they mean? <laughs> as, as always, you know, if you think you know, please, you know, comment and tell us what you think they're saying, but... 
because uh, honestly, we don't get a fucking clue. No, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we, you know, we do that. But tonight, uh, tonight, which is it? Actually, is tonight. It's called Twilight. It's, well, it is Twilight. Not you know, shiny vampires are about. Well, it's true. All vampires turn into bats eventually. Right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so tonight we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a, a song uh, came out on the uh, album In Utero in 1993 by the uh, one and only band uh, Nirvana. Oh yeah, Nirvana, the you legendary know? band from Seattle. And this came out. This came out because we were talking. We were talking about you know future future uh, you know. Uh, future uh things for the podcast and we were talking about you know what are we going to do like you know bad celebrity couples <laughs> yeah. which is yeah which is Stay which is folks. really big right now yeah <laughs> yeah we'll, and we'll and, cross that bridge when we get and there and the reason that we're not going into the whole kurt cobain courtney love thing is because you know courtney love was actually just not a celebrity until after she allegedly 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 Killed Kurt Cobain. Yeah, allegedly. We're not saying she did, but I'm saying allegedly. But, but, but we are saying, come on, come, come on. on, come on, <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna be exploring the uh, the uh, song "Heart Shaped Box," which is a great song. Yes, it's a great song. You know it. You love it. And we're gonna be going through these uh, these uh, lyrics and we're gonna you know we're gonna try we're gonna we're gonna try to see what's going on there's a lot of hey wait i got a new complaint <laughs> there's gonna be you know a lot of this stuff. repetition so, going on you know so we're we're only gonna say these you know these repeated things once you know we're gonna say it once and then we're gonna say you know that like she the, he's he repeats it repeats twice and this is and true then we're gonna do that because we're not gonna go into doing all that stuff yeah because uh, yeah what's the point yes because is just saying the same thing over again. So anyway, so the, the uh, lyrics of the song starts off with, she eyes me like a Pisces when I'm weak. I've been locked in t- inside your hot heart-shaped box for weeks. I've been drawn into your magnet tar pit trap. I wish I could eat your cancer when I turn black. Hey, wait, I've got a new complaint. Forever in debt to your priceless advice. Refrained twice in a row. So coming up on this point, Trav, what, uh, do, you, what, what do you what do you think that old Kurt was saying here? I, I think that he is nailing this chick. Uh-huh. And I think she gives him bad advice and she's no good for him. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Kind of interesting. <laughs> yes. I mean, Given his whole marital status, I mean, like, uh, well, or yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say it's something along those lines. I don't understand when I turn black, right? And I eat your cancer. I mean, I think cancer could be a sense of her, or, her saying really shitty things to him, yes, right? Well, I mean, you know, I mean, at least she didn't shit in his bed, yeah, at least, at least she did not poop <laughs> in his bed. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> instead of firing the entire PR, next team. verse starts off with meat. You can't eat. spin shit. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> meat eating orchids. Forgive no one just yet. Cut myself on angel hair and baby's breath. Broken hymen of your highness. I'm left black. Throw down your umbilical noose so I can climb right back. Hey, wait, I've got a new complaint. Forever in debt to your priceless advice. Repeated two times. <laughs> Repeated two times. I, okay, okay. I, I, I know that we usually go for you to this one. Yeah, we know you got this. So I'm thinking that her box is just <laughs> eating some meat. <laughs> All right. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying, like that. You know, if you want to look at an orchid, and you want yeah, to yeah, compare yeah, it to things, like she knows how to use it. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's trying to do that. <laughs> cut yourself. Cut myself on angel's hair and baby's breath. I angel hair like angel hair pasta. I mean, I don't. I don't understand you that. You think part. that he maybe cooked her some dinner? I mean, he like made her angel pasta. With, maybe it was too spicy. I don't I know don't if know. you eat baby's breath. And I'm just not sure. Yeah, but it might be actual actual baby's breath. So. Yeah, uh, cut 
Because there's a lot of kid innuendo in this uh, this stanza. <laughs> yes, yes. Broken hymen of your highness, I'm left black. So what, he took her hymen? What She just was talking about how much of a whore she was. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know what she's saying with Well, this. maybe every experience with her was something new. Oh, how, oh, that's so sweet. Wasn't it? Wasn't yeah, it? but then she's well, like, you turn him in black. And yeah. I, I Throw down like, your umbilical noose <laughs> so I can climb. Right back. Okay, so this is a next. So, so, so yeah. I mean, so I think that I think that he's like, no matter how much your orchid eats meat, yes, I'm coming back. I'm coming for it, and I understand it's very bad for me. Yes, yes. it's like Taco Bell. Yes, and then <laughs> and then he's like, hey, wait, I've got a new complaint. Forever in debt to your priceless advice. I think that this person was Google before Google was Google. <laughs> Are you talking some type of proto Google? Yeah, I think so. I think that this person knew everything, so that you know, even before Google, Kurt didn't even need Google. I think a black SUV just pulled up in front of your house, Joe. A what? Cassidy Coogan. I think. Uh, I think you understand the the Google thing. Yep. Yep. So anyway, so yeah, so like I said, you know, you know, just priceless advice. You know, it's just Google all over it's and over all, again. Yeah, it's a, it's a search engine. Yes. All right. So next verse. She eyes me like a Pisces when I'm weak. Uh, I've been locked inside your heart-shaped box for weeks. I've been drawn into your magnet tar pit trap. I wish I could eat your cancer when I turn black. Hey, wait, I've got a new complaint repeated twice. Okay. So I think that the process is repeating itself. Yeah, like any really good booty call that you know that you're this chick's crazy or in your relationship that you just are not a fan of. Right. Yeah, I just just you know, this is so this is reminding me of something that in, in this guy's life that I just can't put my finger on it. Mm-hmm. Huh. Uh, it'll come to me. Yeah. I just I, I got nothing right now. At some point, I wish I could wink it at all the viewers right yeah. now, all the listeners. Your I'm advice. Winking. Your advice. Was that the whole song? Your advice. <laughs> yeah. Like I would say, I, I I want the fun Nirvana song, but they all sound like he's really fucking miserable. Well, <laughs> we could tell that you know, like the guy was in pain. He was, and he made some bad decisions but you know yeah he well, made I, some bad decisions he put some stuff in there he turned to heroin because of the constant pain that he was in all the time and you know you know god rest his soul or whatever oh no he's great whatever take, you believe take, taken too soon yes absolutely like like all the good ones are that's nice, like just look at la bamba yeah <laughs> All righty. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. And remember, folks, if you know what the fuck he was talking about, and if you think we're way off ba- base, drop a like yep. tell and, us. and tell us in a comment, like, like, what's going on? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe on all major social media. There you go. Even Twitter. Yes. On Twitter. We are on Twitter now. We are? Yes, we are. Oh, right. After we got banned. We did get banned. Yeah, shortly after January 7th. Yeah, it was so weird. <laughs> It was like way you're, before you're, we even started. I know it was. <laughs> I've been around since mm-hmm. last April. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, folks, um, you know there is something great that's going to be happening this week. Yes, and um, and I tell you right now, the MCU has really been pooping on me as far as their content lately. I haven't liked much of the shit they've come out with. I don't know how Joe feels about this, but most of, most of this stuff is just really, really, I don't know, arbitrary. Uh, Except for Moon Knight. Moon Knight was pretty dang good so well, far. Well, you haven't seen the end of it because that comes out tomorrow. I know this. Yes. I have liked what I've seen so far. I, I have. Oh, indeed. So I've, I've only three episodes in, so you probably know more than I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, good. So, But no, um, we get to see Marvel's follow-up movie, to the spectacular Spider-Man No Way Home. Yes. This is uh, Doctor Strange in in the Multiverse of Madness. Yes. I a, mean there's there's several there's several key factors that we've already had revealed to us which is the Spider-Man No Way Home which is kind of which was the film debut of the multiverse. 
Um, for the most part. Right, but the multiverse was actually uh, debuted in Loki. It was debuted in Loki. Loki was a decent show. Yes, and then it was further expanded upon in the What If uh, what if cartoon or animated animated uh, things, which is deeply going to tie into this. I tell you, I haven't seen any of those. I got to watch those. And yeah. you know what? I, I vow to you, the battery pack, that I will watch every single episode before the movie comes out. All right. Well, I mean, it's not going to take long. I think there's... They're, they're like 30 minutes apiece, aren't they? like seven or eight 30 to 40 minute episodes. Oh, that's fine. I, I and can... each one is better than the next. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know. They did a Marvel Zombies one that they I did was the, meaning they, to watch. They did the Marvel Zombies, but they didn't do it the way that the Marvel Zombies should have been done. Oh, the Kirkman books, which were yes. stunning? Yes. Okay. Exactly. They're amazing. Yes. If you, Abs- it, absolutely. They But they did, they did well with it. Uh, they kind of stuck to it. But it was not completely. It was different because they didn't bring in the Galactus. Oh God! The, yeah. All the that's so know, good. Yeah, all it, the stuff. And if if you hey, if you got a little spare change in your pocket, which I doubt you do because of inflation. Yes. Um, do yourself a favor. Go out get the Marvel Zombies, the original Marvel Zombies trade paperback. And, Give it a read. And two and three. Two yeah, two and three were good, but then two they, and three, and then four jumped the shark. Yeah, four jumped the shark, and then five and six, they just kept on pushing them out. Yeah. They're like, oh, we're gonna make a bunch of money off. The-. No, yeah, you're not, because no, you, you totally ruined it. Yeah. They went too far. You went too far. Yep. You don't. You, you, you see that? You jumped right it's, into the puddle. It's okay if you jump the shark and end it. Right, exactly. Or just end it on the most common thing. You know, I would rather have a good story that ends on a decisive note and be like, oh, I wonder what happened after that. Then somebody just string shit along for right. the longest time is bad. I'm not saying MCU is doing this, but I'm afraid that they might be. But I don't know. No, um, I don't. I don't think. I don't think that they're going to. I, I, I know. I don't think so either. But the thing is, this is like the tipping point for me with this uh, Doctor Strange movie because it was Sony that filmed a majority of the Spider-Man movie, and that Spider-Man movie was sick. No, well. Um, but no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm really excited about seeing. It. I'm yeah. really, really excited about seeing it, yeah. and um, so. It also one of my biggest selling points to me on this is the director Sam freaking Raimi of Michigan. Yes, ah uh, man, I tell you, director I saw, of the original Spider Man, the original Spider Man, the, the original three Spider Men, the Tobey Maguire trilogy. Didn't he do an Evil Dead? He, you know, he did Evil Dead. <laughs> he did. He did my all time favorite scary movie, Evil Dead, along with. Evil Dead 2, which is, I don't know if it's a scary movie, but it's up there. Yeah. And then no, Army no. of Darkness, which is my, oh, it's it's in my Mount right. Rushmore movies. And then I believe he also did a movie, a little movie called Drag Me to Hell, which was just pretty fucking intense. It was. And you, you know what? It legitimately, it made me scared of gypsies. Yes. Like, even, I remember my mom used to say, I'm going to show you to the gypsies, because I, I pissed her off, obviously. Yeah. But, and I was like, and oh, you, lived out the, you lived out in the woods. I lived in, on a farm, yes. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, we never had gypsies come by and i'm like watching this movie and this is years later i'm growing up and i'm watching this dude i'm like that's what gypsies do <laughs> either that or they make you eat a pie and they tell you thinner oh thinner <laughs> oh no yeah that, i think the pie came after that. he just went up to that fat guy and i'm like he kind of did him a favor oh no no he didn't <laughs> no 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 but, no, no, getting, no no but you know kept getting thinner absolutely and the thing is is you know before spider-man Sam Raimi did do a superhero movie. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Dark Man. Yes. Uh, it was his own conceived superhero movie. Yes. And it was actually very enjoyable. Yes. Did he do Die, Dark Man, Die? Dark no, Man he did too. not do. He, it means D, Dark Man, D. It means the Dark Man if yeah. you're watching it in Germany. Yes. But uh, <laughs> because, you know, I was always wondering that, and I didn't think about that, but, like, that Dark Die, Dark Man, Die. That was number three. Was that three? Yeah, he number two. Do, he didn't do two either. Number two was The Return of Durant. No, he didn't do that one either, although Larry Drake came back for that one. Larry Drake was Robert... Was this Robert C. Durant? He was Durant. So, uh, yeah. But needless to say, Sam Raimi, I love him so much because he, he's got a style with his video, uh, video, video um, videography. Videography, director. D- director, is, yeah. yeah cinem- cinematography. Yeah, directorism. Cinem- yeah, because I'm a master of... Namiology. Yes. Uh, no, cinematography. Yeah, his Good cin- with the wordisms. Yes. His cinematography is so, so, I love it so it's, much. It's well thought out, well planned. I mean, like the best example, the good. best example, though, Joe, of it was is Spider-Man 2 
when they were going to cut off Dr. Octopus's arms and like it took you back to Evil Dead when his arms like woke up and he started they start killing all the doctors in the right. in the operating room. Right. And I'm like, "Oh, this is great cuz he pulled out the chainsaw and everybody associates chainsaw with Sam Raimi." And go. I'm like, "Oh, so good." Yeah. No, he also did Ash vs. Evil, and he had the first ep- episode of Ash vs. Evil, and he right. was a producer on there. Right. And he also did, like, he did, like, Xena and, like, yeah, Hercules, he, Legendary he, Journeys. He's done, he's done stuff here and there. I he, think he did an episode of Supernatural. Yeah. Um, he's done a whole bunch of stuff. But needless to say, Joe and I, uh, Broken Battery endorses Sam Raimi. Yes, absolutely. We, we celebrate your entire catalog, sir. I can't name a single movie that you've done that I have not been a fan of. Yeah. Well, you can come over and take out these dogs. Yes, yes, the the, the brutal Coogan hounds. Um, but you know, I'm bringing up all this stuff and how his he, he was rooted in horror because his first movie was Evil Dead. Yes, like the main movie, right? So we're gonna, we're, we're going to be doing. He's going to be doing Doctor Strange, and yes. you had something interesting you were telling me about Joe. Yes, um, that this that this. Uh, this is going to be very deeply rooted in a very horrific way. Oh. It is going to be dark. It's going to be evil. Um, there's going to be things in here. And now, like, like I thought it was pretty weak by the uh, Saudis and everything else that they were just Oh, gonna, we're not letting this in here. Because- they're not going to let it in because of a character that's, like, LGBTQ. Like, seriously, like, you know, get over itself. I... Get over yourself, Saudi Arabia. Right. Um, I I was I was, and China. Yeah, but I thought that they were going to ban it because of the evilness. But you know, it's just like, dude, let people do what you're going to do. Right. Well, uh, the thing is, I don't is, give a shit about any of that stuff. No. And I just don't. I like- I, I I actually thought it would have been a legitimate thing for like religious reasons, but they were just like, oh no, we just don't. Uh, we can't do that. And it's just like, well, we don't like the gays in our yeah, movie, right, which yeah. is which is know. which is just stupid. You know what? And it's your loss. And that's one more reason that your country sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so. and also the thing is, is is uh, like America Chavez. I'm not really like up to date on that character. But at least it's an original LGBTQ character. Yes. It, they're not just grabbing and, and swapping something from an existing character, which I think is just fucking lazy. Right. right. So I, I'll give it a shot. I'll check it out. I mean, like, I, I, I don't know much about the character, but hey, hey good for them. Yeah. Um, so, so what we know so far from what we've seen in these trailers... The trailers, the teaser trailers, the preview, buy a ticket trailer. Right. Is that we know that it's a person that I believe to be Kang the Conqueror. Right? Is that the uh, African American guy? That- no, that's not Kang. That's Dorma. Uh, not Dorma. That's Baron Mordo. Oh, that. Okay. Mordo from the first one. Oh. Yeah, yeah he's, like, he's like, you, you, you're, uh, you, you're. You you change reality. Yeah. He's he's really butthurt about Strange oh, doing what he had to do. Oh, oh, that's right. It is not the same character from as, no, 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 no. It's supposed no. to be Kang the Conqueror from the thing. My bad. I apologize. No, no apologies necessary yeah. because we are here to clear it up for the battery pack. Okay. Um, so what we see is now in this newest say buy a ticket trailer because if you don't buy it, you're not going to go on Thursday. By the way, it has outsold the Batman. And Not it surprised. Has outsold every every movie to date for presale tickets in 2022. Good. You want to know why? Doctor Strange is a very undervalued character. He, I have thought so for years. Yes. Great character, and they and Benedict Cumberbatch fucking owns as him. Yes, absolutely. And with Remy at the helm, man, I'm just I'm stoked about this movie. Right. I've been stoked about so this we, movie. So we we so we know that Wanda is going down a dark path. We know that, you know, that Doctor Strange opened up the portal. He brought back all the star uh Spider-Man villains um from the different realities which have been, you know, opened up within Loki first. It's like he micro-channeled the entire multiverse with right. going into the MCU. Well, right, exactly. But you know, we see that scene where the character's name—it's escaping me. Uh, Baron Mordo. Yeah, Baron Mordo says that it's time to see the Illuminati, and then shortly after that, we have a scene where we hear Sir Patrick Stewart say, "Let's find out 
what doctor what kind of doctor strange what, you are what kind of doctor strange you are and you know what did you see what kind of chair he was in yes he it was, was the yellow chair from yes. the x-men uh, 90s cartoon as well as the comic right i geeked the fuck out on yes, that one yes well he though they showed his hand yeah. on that on the on the thing of the chair yes so, outstanding so for those that don't know who the marvel illuminati consists of Oh, it was a great concept that came around in 2005, I believe. Yes, July of 2005. Yeah. Good year. Good, Good year. year. Yeah. Good year. So the the Marvel Illuminati consists of Iron Man, Professor X, Namor, Reed Richards, Doctor Strange, and Black Bolt. Black Bolt. Yes. And I, I don't know if they're going to use this to tie the Inhumans uh, train wreck miniseries into this. Well, they killed that before it got off the rails. Yeah. And there's not really much of that being mentioned as canon because they are actually trying to kill the uh, Shield Agents of Shield as canon as well. Hmm. So I did not know that. Yeah. So, but yes. So some some major characters. So right. okay. So spoiler alert. Spoiler. Well, we don't know. Spoiler speculation alert. This is speculation alert. This is not a spoiler alert. So while the voice we've heard is Patrick Stewart, I know for a fact that Patrick Stewart is in this movie. I also know for a fact that the uh, that there is a uh, Tom Cruise. Has been cited. Has been cited. Now, now, okay. Now, Joe, you have to clear this up for people that don't necessarily follow this. Okay. Why would Tom Cruise be in this? Tom Cruise could possibly be Iron Man from another reality. Right. And I think this is alluding to the fact that they almost cast Tom Cruise back in 2008 right. to be Iron Man. Right. Instead of doing the right choice and getting Robert Downey Jr. in there. Correct. Correct. So, yeah. And as for, like, other characters, I mean, like, I mean, I've heard rumors about Mr. Fantastic, you know, uh, John Krasinski. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I cannot, I cannot verify. I can neither, I can or, neither nor verify or anything like that. But the rumor is, is that John Krasinski is Mr. Fantastic. Oh, perfect. That's perfect cast. Jim is going to do a great job. Yes. Is Mr. Fantastic. Yes, yes. And, um, and, and obviously, you know, Sir Patrick Stewart. As Professor X. As Professor X. Now, as, you know, and, and we know that, you know, that eventually Doctor Strange will be a member of the Illuminati. Because he was in the original one. In, in the original. Black Bolt, I have no idea. Namor, no, I have no, no idea. idea. There <laughs> are rumors that Namor has been cast in, um, uh, Namor has been cast for Black Panther 2. And he is, uh, which was be Wakanda Forever, uh, yeah. is Black Panther 2. And his name is the actor from Narcos, uh, Mexico actor Tanash Hertha, is, mm. uh, is the online rumors that he will be Namor. No shit. Yes. Well, so I mean, if that's rumored that far ahead, then that means they have to introduce him at some point, with, right? With Black Panther coming out in the near right, future. Right. Also, you know, and they said that there will be a live action Captain Carter. Yes, I don't understand the super allure of the character, but apparently she was cool in the What If series. Yes, in the What If series. Spoiler alert! This is a spoiler alert, folks. Yeah, wah, wah. I mean, it's only been out for about seven months. Yes, seven so it's your eight, it's your fault. Seven man. to eight months if you haven't watched. In it. fact, I haven't watched it yet, and Joe's gonna spoil it for me. Right. So, in the very first episode of What If. Um, it is basically what if Agent Carter took the super so soldier serum? So she became Captain of, America. She became Captain Britain. Captain Britain, which yeah. is an actual a separate character in the MC and Marvel Comics, which is tied closely to X Men. But right. I right. digress. Right from Excalibur. Yeah, from an Excalibur. Yep, yes, yep. but and was also mentioned in a muffled thing in. Uh, Endgame. In, in Endgame. So the, about the lightning coming out of Britain and all the storms and stuff like that. Yep. So, but yeah, so there, there's all these speculations. Um, I mean, as it could be, I think that it ends up being a 
very this is setting up for a very good story absolutely and you know so so what all this leads up to is that i think that i think that on thursday when uh this movie comes out i think that this is going to uh end up becoming a uh a uh, very very uh an anchor i would say it was an anchor for the storytelling for the next phase i think is this this is phase four yeah so this is going to be the anchor to phase four which is going to lead into um the you know next 10 years basically you know probably phase five phase six which i think is going to end up with you know some type of a new avengers type thing i think it's gonna be secret wars honestly yeah well that would be great um yeah if you know secret wars that's another comic go out there and read it um very great it actually was one of the first things i ever read and it had already been out for what 10 years at that point Mm -hmm. and i remember having the toys when i was like five or six because they released the toys for secret wars and they they told comic book writers hey we're releasing these toys Figure out a storyline that goes along with these toys that say Secret Wars. So, do so favor. G- great, great writing. It. That's when comic book writing was really solid and yeah. not, not the shit now. Right. Um, but there's also, uh, I want to say some speculation. I don't think Wanda's going to be a bad guy in this. No. I think I think she's gonna, I, I think that she's going to rede- redeem she, herself for what she did in the she's movie. She's going to redeem show. herself now, and also the other thing too is don't be surprised if we see a return of Vision. Oh, absolutely! And, and oh, some and oh the new version of Vision, the new version, the white version of Vision, because yeah. we have to the white version of Vision has to come back before he becomes before he comes back. Absolutely, and he kind of just flew away. At, right, so, I. Uh, yeah, I really like what they did with that whole storyline in uh, WandaVision. Although, I, I did read somewhere that Doctor Strange was supposed to show up at the end of WandaVision, but they cut it out mm-hmm. because of some bull, um, apolitical identity politics bullshit. Right. And I really made me upset because I think it would have really tied it together. Right. And you would have got way more stroke going for Multiverse of Madness if they hadn't, you know, tried to appease those seven people that bitch online on Twitter. Right, right. So there's also speculation that the uh, Marvel uh, Illuminati will be uh, Patrick Stewart as Xavier, uh, our Cap, our Captain America as in Chris Evans. Really? Yes. Reed Richards, who we're thinking is going to be John Krasinski, because mm-hmm. that would be the best choice ever. Yeah. There's going to be a new be- Black Bolt. Don't know. That could be Tom Cruise. There's also going to be Superior Iron Man. Superior Iron Man. Which would be like Ultimate Iron Man. That, that makes sense for Tom Cruise. Yes, that would make sense. Namor. And also, there is uh, rumors that Tobey Maguire may show up as the Spider-Man variant. I would be super freaking excited if that was the yeah. case. Um, and, you know, I've heard rumors like uh, on, on, you know, on, on various forums and sites uh, that Evans has actually expressed interest as coming back as Cap. And and so has, and like Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. has also been back. Moon Knight is opening up some of those uh, ways back. Absolutely. So uh, Moon Knight is doing that. Uh, a lot of people don't realize it, but they're but they're showing they're showing stuff that these are ways back for the characters with an explanation rather than like the way that they used to do it in the comic book and be like, Oh, oh he's just back. There he is. He's just well, back. like I said, I was, I read somewhere that the, the super soldier serum, even though Steve ages, yeah, it regenerates him. So he slowly gets like comebacks to his youthful after a while. Like, you know, he was all old and shit. Mm-hmm. Cause Take it for what you will. This is just stuff I heard. Okay, so right. if you, everybody out there, this is speculation. Speculation that like speculation. that a, like a lot of people are not too keen on expectations Anthony, <laughs> that are not too keen on Anthony Mackie taking over for Cap, and that they really don't think he could actually carry a movie on on his own. Right. And and I'm like, well, whatever. I I actually liked him better as the Falcon. That's just my opinion. I think Falcon was a badass sure. character. But anyway, yeah. Um, but I mean, the the way that they took out. The way that they, you know, like, it was like, oh, Cap is out. Cap's Cap, out. Iron Man's out. Cap's out. Cap's out. Iron Man's out. Thor got fat and disappeared into space. Right. But, uh, yeah, so 
that that's what we got. we're going to be expecting here in a few days. Um, you know, let us know what you think of the movie because we're going to let you know what you think of the movie because we will do a review on it. Yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm going the first chance I get on Thursday to see it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but anyway, hey, we want to thank everybody for tuning in. Sorry about the hiatus, folks. We're going to try our best not to make that happen again. Yeah, man, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. We want to be in my message to you every day, if possible. I mean, we talk about some pretty cool shit. <laughs> and uh, we want to tell you all thanks again, and we will talk to you soon. Stay off the pipe. Don't forget to wipe. <laughs> <laughs>